seeds. Now is the perfect time to be buying your own seeds. So, um, if you've been following the Grow Your Own Food Challenge on Facebook or you've been uh, following me on Twitter, you'll know that I'm very passionate about getting people into this idea of growing their own food. Now, it doesn't have to be a garden or an allotment. It can be a pot. It could be even a little salad pot on the windowsill. Um, you can go as big or as little as you like. So from the 14th of February, so today, um, right through the year, I'll be covering uh, recipes, advice, hints and tips on how to get the best out of what you're growing. Um, we'll start a conversation going on the Facebook group and on Twitter. The other key thing is um, I will be sewing and filming my little sewing adventures. I'll also be blogging everything so that you at home can also do your stuff as I do it. So on to seeds. What kind of things should you be looking for? Things like peas are really good for balconies um, and small gardens as well. You, obviously you can grow them in a little garden as well if you've got that. Um, really really compact plants so they don't take a lot of room up so it's really good to look for some seeds if you're if you're looking for plants to grow and um, chilies perfect for windowsills um, small gardens as well because you just need a little 30 centimeter pot 50 centimeter pot something like that just grow a chili and it will keep keep fruiting and providing you with lovely crops as well um, chilies are really expensive in the supermarket so to actually grow your own and get some really lovely flavor as well instead of the blandness is perfect um, Tomatoes are really good for flavour. If you've got a little bit more space, you can grow them on a little courtyard. And then we have spinach and lettuce. Um, so what you can do with these is you can do a cut and come again thing where you can, every two weeks, you do a new sowing and then you come along with some scissors and you just take off a few of the newer leaves. So you leave the, old, the older leaves to kind of keep the plant going and you just take off some of the newer leaves. And you do that on like a two week cycle. So you've got one pot and then you sow another pot and then you can just keep going throughout the year. Um, and then there's things like carrots and beetroot which you can also grow and that's really fun to do those sorts of things because they you can get some rainbow colours going with your beetroot, you can get golden beetroot and do like lots of weird kind of colours of carrot as well. Um, and then again you just need like a 60, 50, 60 centimetre pot and you can just grow um, several of them and you can get some nice salad crops as well, little baby carrots which you don't really find in the supermarket. So I mean all of the things I listed there are so much better grown than they are from the supermarket. So yeah, keep, keep up to date with everything. You can follow the blog, you can follow the Facebook group, and you'll follow the YouTube channel. And I'll keep posting stuff as I go. Obviously, f grow along. I really want to motivate you and inspire you to do this stuff. And I think, you know, we're so early on in the year that if you start now and you grow one plant this year, one edible plant, then by the end of it, you'll feel like you've achieved something. And it's, re it's a really, nice feeling actually having something you've grown and you've tended to a few times a week and you have something out of that at the end of the year is really nice um, so keep up to date get out there get looking for seeds get you know asking people about things look online keep coming back to us at the grow your own food challenge and uh, i hope i can inspire you to start growing your own as well thank you for watching guys